I have been a photographer now for over a decade, uh, doing it sort of as a consumer hobbyist and moving eventually from mobile photography into DSLRs and then mirrorless systems. I'm shooting this on the R5 now, Canon's R5. Now over the past decade, as photography has been increasingly more important to my mental health and also a contributor to my financial sources and income streams, whatever you wanna call those, on the flip side, Instagram has been one of the worst things for my mental health and sucks up a lot of my time that I could be making more videos for you guys, making more money, doing more work. But as a photographer, I love sharing new photos with all of you. I love finding new photographers and I like keeping up with photographers' work and getting inspired by other people. Now for the longest time, like Instagram has been out for over a decade, no iPad app. Glass, on the other hand, has been out for less than a year and they've shipped an awesome iPad app. I wanted to make this video just to share how good Glass on iPad is, how I think it's the vision of what I always wanted as a photographer to share my work. I wanted to give you guys my top three things about this app that I'm really enjoying and why it's just way better than Instagram on an iPad I think will ever be. So it should go without saying the iPad is an incredible device for consuming content on. I think we've known this, the iPad's been around now for 12 years. <laughs> That doesn't even sound right. 12 years on now, the iPad has incredible displays. If you're using something like the iPad Pro and even the iPad mini now in the sixth generation is still a great display, a great device. It's my favorite iPad as of right now, even though I do miss the Pro display, the Pro Motion and the Pro Color that's on the iPad Pro. The iPad mini is the form factor for me. Now opening up the Glass app, it takes you right into a chronological feed. And it's nice because I love just scrolling through here. Nothing takes up too much space. You actually don't see anyone's profile icons, which I kind of like. You'll get a photo in your feed and be like, oh, I think I know who took that. And that's kind of been one of the fun things about using this app over the last year or so is that I'll jump on here and be like, oh, I think this is posted by this person. And, and it is, and like I'm able to identify what different folks work looks like and, and build a consistency I think better for myself. I think my consistency for my work has gotten better because I've been posting it on Glass and Glass is just such a really great place to review even your own work that I'm finding myself just dialing in things that I wouldn't have dialed in if I'm posting across things like stories and feed and trying to do a reel like, it's not gonna happen, none of that's here. This is just photos, it's so nice. Another awesome thing about the chronological feed is you can turn off your iPad's rotation lock, turn it landscape, and then start scrolling vertically with an even wider field of view. This makes, like, this is, I love this, this is so nice. It's just easy to hold with two hands and I think it looks incredible. The second thing that I like to do, usually in the mornings or maybe at the end of the day when I'm winding down, is open up the community tab, which is actually now like two tabs, community and categories. But it's really easy to swipe through just different people who the app is currently sort of bubbling up for you. Uh, there's this like film strip uh, interface, which I really like, where you can move from left to right on a particular member's photography, and, and you can start glancing at some of the work that they've more recently published. So if you see someone who's doing something you like, you can follow them right from here. But it's just a really fun interface to discover new photographers and see new photography. There's also this newer feature in Glass that they've added in the last few months called Categories, something that was missing from the original launch last year when I made a video talking about this app. I'll leave that link down in the description below in case you want to see what that's all about as well. This categories section is so cool. If you're like, you know what, I'm going on a shoot or I'm going out on a hike, I want to get some inspiration for some landscapes. Or maybe you're going to a city and you want some cityscape inspiration. This this is so cool. Like this, is, these aren't hashtags, like, these are categories and they work really, really well. You may even get inspired to do photography in a category that's different than a category that maybe you particularly work in. So if maybe you're someone who professionally does weddings and portraits and uh, more human photography. Maybe you'll be inspired to do wildlife photography because you can just check out wildlife here. Maybe you've been doing food photography for the last three months and you're <sighs> Mm, you know what? I'd much rather I'd much rather see what's going on with astrophotography. Why not? Why not check out that? Maybe use my camera in a whole new way, like long exposures and all. Like, 
it's all like, it's all here. This is so nice. So definitely a huge point for me as far as getting inspired and just finding different types of inspiration that I just, I wouldn't have found in an explore tab on Instagram. The third piece, like I said, that I really enjoy about this app is your own sort of profile page, being able to look at all of your images in this way just really helps me see where my style is going and evolving. It allows me to reflect on my work, the best parts of my work in a unique and interesting way. And I don't think any app that I've ever used on an iPhone or an iPad or any phone or any tablet has given me a way to reflect and look back at my work in just a very minimal, simple, easy to understand, easy to look at way. And what's nice is like these are high res uploads, like they're really nice uploads. Like when I pop them open, I'm not looking at it going like, oh, that's an Instagram five by four crop and it's super compressed. Like this is my work in the way that I want it to be seen. I have landscapes in here. I have three by two full size, full frame portrait style shots. Like that's what I want in my portfolio. I want, I want to see my work, not the things that I've sort of plucked from my work just to share on Instagram. Before I wrap this video up, I did want to share with you guys another pro tip or like a really awesome thing about Glass that I like. While it is a paid app, if you are gonna use it, I believe it's $29.99 a year, somewhere between like $29.99 and $49.99, I think. What does that work out to? Maybe $5 a month, not too bad. Um, I'd rather pay $5 a month than see ads on Instagram. But what's really nice is Glass does have public profiles and it does also have public discovery. So if you're thinking, uh, maybe I'm gonna not get into glass right now, but you still wanna see what other photographers are posting. You can go to glass.photo. You can go explore all the different types of photography that they surface up there on their website. And you can also follow someone like me on glass.photo by just going to glass.photo slash Stephen Foster. All my stuff is there and you can check it out for yourself. I can show someone my work and show them some of the like more recent stuff that I've been taking photos of and they don't have to sign up for the app, which is actually kind of nice. Even like Instagram, if you try to use the web version, it's not a good interface. It really isn't. Like I would not show someone my Instagram as like a portfolio piece. I would show them my glass profile though. I think my glass profile is like a better representation of what I'm doing. So if you've gotten this far in the video and you haven't seen my previous video about why I'm leaving Instagram, at least for the summer, um, this is a bigger part of sort of like a experiment I'm doing as far as sharing my work. Um, I'm not going to be on Instagram. I'm not gonna be posting anything on Instagram over the next uh, season, next uh, 90 days roughly. Um, but I will be posting on glass. Uh, if you didn't see the whole reasons why I'm leaving Instagram video, it'll be linked below as well. Leave a comment down below. I'm curious, what do you think about glass? Are you interested? Are you going to jump on? Are you already on there? If you're already on glass, like say hi, I would love to follow you and see all your work there. Um, but leave a comment down below if there's something still missing from glass or something keeping you still on Instagram. Um, I would love to hear your thoughts. With that, I just wanna say thank you all to everyone who has subscribed to this channel. And if you have not, uh, make it right, make it work, make it happen. Be kind both in life and in the comments below and like this video to send good vibes across the internet. We need good vibes, we need them. It's good, it's so good. <laughs> we'll do it again soon, later.